What's going on all you gamers? Today we're back with a little bit more Aliens Fireteam Elite. And what I'll be showing you today, we, along with my buddy just here, Sergeant Herrera, is a nice easy build for the Lancer that can get you through some of the toughest difficulties in the game. So if you're trying to get through some of the tougher content, such as the Extreme, or even if you're crazy enough to take on the Insane difficulty, then this Lancer build should be the one you're after in order to carry you through. Scan on here gamers, today we're going to be going over a build for the Lancer class on Fireteam Elite. This guy dishes out a lot of damage, has a nice bit of AoE for those situations when you feel like you're getting completely swarmed. That's it man, game over man, game over! I also have quite a bit of mitigation, perfect for that late game. Now I'd like to thank my friend Killer Mio, he has helped out massively. I returned to this game and forgot how tough it actually was and had a lot of this going on, shall we say? But after a few games, getting used to the buttons and getting used to the choke points and such and working out which builds work, we finally managed to get through some of the tougher content. But enough blabbing from me, let's see what this marine's all about. Now jumping over to his equipment and as you can see the main thing we're focusing on is the red beanie hat. Sets him apart from the rest, don't probably think it's going to be the best for mitigating damage but it does make it look cool. But what we're going to be doing is jumping over to his primary and one of the main ones you're going to want is going to be the plasma discharger close range shotgun. This is an absolute beast, it comes with the new DLC and I really enjoy using this one. It's got a nice bit of range, the damage is pretty decent at 147, not bad fire rate at 2 reload time, again not that bad, bit of magazine with 9 and it holds a chunky bit of ammo. All in all this does the job, I really like it and I think it's probably first or second best shotgun in the game now depending on your build. Obviously if you did want one that does slightly more damage but doesn't hold as much ammo you would swap it straight off for the pump shotty, just an all round amazing weapon in pretty much any build I found for this fella, for the Lancer, I actually preferred the Plasma Discharger quite a bit just because it has a slightly faster fire rate and at very late game I found that extra ammo was very needed. 
That going over its mods, the first one we've got is the tanker muzzle. This one's going to give you a bit of weak point damage, stumble chance and effective range. Also has 33% chance to briefly stun enemies on the hit. The effect can only occur against the same enemy every 15 seconds. Most times that's all you need in a well organised team, this can really help you out. Just over here we've got the flared breach. This is going to give it a bit of extra fire rate and it's going to give us ammo. Ammo, 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 if you haven't got a recon, ammo is going to be key. If you have got a recon, you may be able to swap this out for something different. Lastly, we've got the green dot sight. Weak point damage and effective range. Like I said, we're going to be using this probably at close range, but if we do run out of ammo on our other one, we will be using it at mid distance. So it's nice to have a little bit of effective range just in case you need it, in case you need to switch over to this weapon. When it's fully perked out, you're going to have 5% reload speed, 5% weak point damage, 5% charge speed, and a nice one to have on that I didn't even realise was actually as good as it is. Enemies move 1% slower and deal 0.5% less damage per hit for 5 seconds. This effect stacks per projectile, up to 12 times. That's actually pretty tasty. It works well with this weapon, it means they're slowed a little bit, it means they're not going to hit you quite as hard if they do get through to you. At late game you don't want to be getting hit, but if you are, being able to mitigate a little bit of damage that way and being able to slow them down can really help you out. Over to our heavy slot and we've got this one right here, probably one of my new favourite weapons in the game, the Thunderbolt Mark II Autocannon. This I thought was going to be awful, I really did, I didn't think I was going to enjoy using this. Now like I said, it's one of my favourite guns in the game. We're going to be going with the tanker muzzle break. This is going to give us weak point damage, a stumble chance 10% and effective range 10%. Also, a 33% chance to briefly stun enemies on hit. This effect can only occur against the same target once every 15 seconds. Just over here, polygonal rifling. Fire rate 20% and again, 50% chance on hit. Enemies take an additional 10% damage for 5 seconds. The effect can only occur against the same target once every 15 seconds. Now, I found this, I was going to swap this out and do the one that did the initial burst of damage on the enemies that had full health, but this one worked out better in the end because a lot of times, for those tough enemies, you're taking shots at them from quite a big distance before they get you. And this gun does a fair chunk of damage from distance, it really does with our setup. So being able to take off 10% each time for 5 seconds means you've knocked off a lot of their health or even killed them before they've got towards you, and sometimes you don't even need to change over to your shotty. Lastly, Deep Rolled Armature, Reload Speed, 30%, works perfect with this, you've got very high reload, and your max ammo's 25%. Ammo, 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 whenever you can get it, do try and put it on for this tougher content because like I said, if you haven't got recon, you're going to fill that and you don't want to be using your pist and you definitely don't want to be using your sidearm in those situations because you're not going to be able to take much down of it. Its perks comes with 5% stability, another 5% stability, 5% reload and last but definitely not least, 1% fire rate and stability on hit, stacking up to 10 times. Great for single target again. This is a monster and the way we've got it set up means you get a nice bit of splash damage on it, you take out a lot of enemies, a lot of kind of stumbling around and stuff, and it just does the business from range, medium or long. So jumping over to the perks, and I would say this one is dependent on your setup. If you feel like you're going to struggle with a little bit of mitigation, then you're going to want to swap it over and chuck this one over here when I find it. Just over here, Particle Wave. This one's better if you need a little bit more mitigation, so it depends on your team setup. We've gone for a bit of damage because we've got a nice bit of mitigation going on anyway. So the one we're using is Particle Burst. Triggers a penetrating energy burst centered on you that deals less damage but stumbles and irradiates nearby enemies for 6 seconds and they take an additional 20% more weapon damage. We're going for quite a lot of weapon damage in our build, focus on, focusing on it more than our actual skills, and our skills obviously have a high cooldown because of that. So you're going to want to pop this whenever there's a really tough enemy, close enough for you to make this work, and then swap over to your shotty in order to take them down. Just over from here, and something to help us stay alive is shake it off. 20% of received damage is stored in a recovery pool. After not taking damage for 8 seconds, you recover your stored amount as health over 4 seconds. Just underneath, we've got back in action. That's now changed and it's up to 30%. 
works absolutely perfect. This time it's going to recover it over 3 seconds. Just over for here, protective layer. Damage from melee attacks and environmental hazards reduced by 20%. I found myself at late game taking a ridiculous amount of damage from the environmental hazards sometimes. Not often, but when it does, you're going to be very happy you've got this on, exactly the same as if when any of those Xenos manage to get a hit on you with their melee. To give us a little bit of a buff to our health, we've got fitness training. Increases incoming healing and max health by 10%. Improved stamina recharge rate by 20%. This is going to help you get a few rolls out. This is going to help you with a little bit of extra health. It's really going to make the difference in them late games because you want as much health as possible. And this really helps you to get through. Just underneath from here, down range. Increase your far distance damage by 20%. In some cases, this means your guns can deal more damage at max range than at close range. This is perfect and works hand in hand with our weapon that we'll be using as much as we possibly can. And that's this one, the Thunderbolt Mark II Auto Cannon. There is your fall off. Absolutely zero fall off. Meaning as long as you're shooting at long range, you're gonna get that extra 20% damage. It's gonna do a big chunky number and it's gonna do an air effect as well. Really taking things out nice and easy and perfect for a group setup. Just stand from there and we're going on to our weapon perks, demolish our heavy expertise. Increases the radius of heavy weapons by 15% and damage of heavy weapons by 10%. Getting an extra bit of damage on that really helps us out and brings your numbers up quite tasty near the end. And obviously you're going to need some form of training in order to equip that, so we've got the demolisher heavy training. Increases the max ammo of heavy weapons by 20% and their reload speed by 15%. These two work absolutely perfect in this build. A little bit of extra range on our splash damage, nice bit of extra damage itself, a little bit of extra reload speed, and some more ammo for our heavy. It pretty much ticks all of the right boxes. Next up, and we've got Tenacious. Onslaught now lasts 20% longer and grants 5% more weapon damage and damage resistance. This one is really nice to have. Gives us that onslaught for longer when we're in it and we've got a bit of resistant. Works perfect for those tough situations. Just down from here and down and out. You deal 20% more damage to enemies that are stunned or knocked. As you saw, we've got a bit of that in our build anyway, so a lot of times this will be coming into effect as well as most team setups. Probably most people are going to be able to cause that at some points, especially on the tougher enemies. So this will very often come into play and give you that 20% extra. Just up from here, and we've got Relentless Advance. When Onslaught is active, you no longer lose stacks of Overwatch while moving. And just down from here, Onslaught now grants immunity to most stuns, stumbles and knockdowns, and grants 150 temporary health for its duration. These two hand in hand work absolutely perfect because it means you get like a tiny little bit of over health at 150. It means you're doing a nice bit of damage because you're obviously using your onslaught. You've got the 20% extra. The speed you walk, which you probably won't be doing anyway, you're going to want to stand still in order to get your relentless advance up as much as possible. And you're going to want to change over to your shotgun because that way you're going to be getting the most bang for your buck. But all in all, this is an absolutely amazing setup very well rounded and as long as you've got a nice team composition he should work perfect in pretty much any situation for the consumables lastly i would recommend a cryo grid and just over here a vulnerability assessment drone that's going to give you a little bit of extra damage whenever you need it pretty much probably still the best consumable in the game and being able to slow enemies is absolutely ideal so having as many cryo grids on as you can will work in your favor as well Right, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.